We buy again with the lamb, who is the last of its kind, after all others have been hunted down and killed, and is now being sacrificed by four bishops of the old faith, an ancient religious order, so that they can prevent the fulfillment of a prophecy, which states that a lamb will free the former fifth, now heretical, bishop. In the instant that the executioner's axe kills it by cleaving its neck, the lamb enters death's realm, ruled over by the one who waits, also known as Narinder, currently imprisoned within it, who offers to resurrect the lamb, on the condition that it forms a cult in his name. The lamb accepts his terms, resulting in Narinder bestowing his red crown upon it, granting it a portion of his supernatural abilities, including being able to return to life. After doing so, the lamb awakens back in its own body at the sacrificial altar where it was killed, uses its newfound strength to break the chains binding it, transforms the red crown into a sword, and annihilates the nearby cultists who participated in the ritual. While escaping the lands of the old faith, the lamb meets Ratau, a former vessel who was the lamb's predecessor, but failed to free Narinder. After following Ratau's guidance toward the wood's exit, the duo stumble upon another victim about to be sacrificed, leading the lamb to kill more cultists to free them, before indoctrinating them into its own cult. At the wood's exit, the lamb finds an inverted pentagram symbol, carved into the ground, which Ratau explains can be used with a red crown to teleport vast distances instantly, returning the lamb to a temple which has currently fallen to ruins, where it can begin its new cult. There, Ratau informs the Lamb that the Temple's hallowed grounds were once his to oversee, and now that they have been passed on to the Lamb, it will need to gather cult followers in order to clear the land, build structures, harvest resources, and gain power through worship and sacrifice. In exchange, the Lamb will need to provide food, shelter, guidance in the form of sermons, and gold to its cultists, while crusading through all four bishops' realms, tracking down and slaying them, breaking the chain each one guards, which together bind Narinder to death's realm. The Lamb begins growing its cult by gathering gold coins and followers, collecting commandment stones, which dictate the cult's beliefs in the form of doctrines, and performing enhancement rituals using the bones of slain enemies. The Lamb visits Ratau at the Lonely Shack, his home, where he's retired to after his service to Narinder, and plays Knucklebones, a dice game of risk and reward, with him and his friends, Flinky, Clunko and Bop, and Shroomy, in order to acquire more funding for the cult. Along its journey, the lamb also encounters the fisherman, a fish cleverly disguised as a human who, after being provided a variety of different sea creatures from the ocean, agrees to sell his catches to the lamb, providing an additional food source for the cultists. Plimbo, a grasshopper located in the smuggler's sanctuary who smuggles goods on his giant fish ship, offers in exchange for the eyes of the witnesses, the most powerful cultists of the bishops, a holy talisman, used to acquire new fleeces, which are special garments the lamb wears, granting it additional powers. Venturing to the Shroom Grotto, the lamb runs into Sozo, an ant leader of a small mushroom cult, who in exchange for feeding his addiction of menticide mushrooms, teaches the lamb the brainwashing ritual, causing cultists to become fervent, unquestioning zealots. In Midas's cave, the lamb meets Midas, a gold-hoarding starfish, who also allows the lamb to gamble for more gold, along with accepting cultists' as sacrifices, which he turns into gold statues and adds to his collection in exchange for another talisman. In the darkness of night, the lamb also encounters the fox, who proposes multiple deals involving sacrifices, beginning with a simple fish, before insidiously escalating to cultists, and finally Ratau, which the lamb can either accept, receiving another talisman, or decline, receiving nothing. The lamb initially accepts the deals, feeding the fox its requested sacrifices to sate its hunger, but when it comes to Ratau, the lamb decides to spare him, declining the final deal. After acquiring sufficient power, the lamb sets out to defeat the four bishops, revealed to be siblings who all sustained severe injuries, still wrapped with bloody bandages, during the past battle with Narinder, who is their brother and the former fifth bishop, where they succeeded in incarcerating him. First entering the Darkwood, Lair of Leshy, the youngest bishop, an earthworm who wields the green crown and presides over the forces of chaos, the lamb slays him, breaking the first of the four chains. Proceeding into Anura, Ruled over by Haket, the second youngest bishop, a frog who wears the yellow crown and rules the domain of famine, the lamb kills her, shattering the second chain. Moving to Anchor Deep, and facing Kalamar, the squid bishop of pestilence, donning the blue crown, the lamb is again victorious, destroying him along with the third chain. Finally, the lamb infiltrates the silk cradle, presided over by Shimura, a spider bishop whose purview is both knowledge and war, armed with a purple crown, and manages to annihilate it, smashing the fourth and final chain binding Narinder. With all chains undone, the lamb proceeds to the gateway, where it's empowered by the faith and prayer of its cultists, allowing it to again enter death's realm and meet with Narinder. As the lamb approaches the exiled cat bishop, Narinder demands that it fulfill the prophecy and their agreement by returning the red crown to him and sacrificing its life, which will give him the power he requires to break free of his remaining shackles in the now unsealed realm, as the lamb has become his most devoted follower.
The Lamb must choose between accepting this fate or refusing it, thereby betraying Narinder, shunning his gospel, claiming itself a false idol, and taking his power for its own. The Lamb refuses, infuriating Narinder and his servants, Bale and Aim, who take turns attacking it in an effort to extract the Red Crown from its head by force, but are both ultimately defeated. Further enraged, Narinder summons all his remaining strength, breaking his own chains, before engaging in combat with the Lamb directly. In an act of desperation after being wounded during their battle, Narinder transforms into his ultimate eldritch form, unleashing a flurry of powerful attacks against the Lamb. After a fierce battle, and again empowered by the faith of his followers, the Lamb is able to defeat Narinder, who, now drained of all his power, reverts to his basic cat form, leaving the Lamb faced with another choice, either to kill him, or to show him mercy by sparing him. The Lamb decides to spare Narinder, indoctrinating him into the cult, thereby fulfilling the prophecy of freeing him, in its own way, on its own terms. Sacrifice reborn a vessel, ascending once more and taking on its true form, no longer a servant, no less than a god.